Forum saw a series of workshops, speakers and various members from the IT community and governments here today in Kuwait. As well as this, there was awards of excellence and also an exhibition. Reporting from the Crown Plaza Hotel, this is Tislim Rasul for Kuwait in 30 minutes. The Atahab Summit was recently launched in the Sheikh Jaber Al Ahmed Cultural Center with the title of Youth Action. The summit was a two day summit with many different events taking place. The events included the launch of the summit as well as workshops and design pledges in different fields. The summit also included speakers of success stories to inspire the youth of Kuwait. Here is more with this report by Saleh Labidi. The Hatahab Summit took place in Sheikh Jabir al Ahmed Cultural Center with the title of Youth Action. The summit was supported by the Kuwait Foundation for the Advancement of Sciences. The event was supporting the new Kuwait Vision Development Plan for 2035. Here is more of this report. Well, the Hatahab Summit is one of the major activities that uh, we see it will play a major role in pledging for the National Vision 2035 of Kuwait. Uh, this uh, summit is uh, very engaging. The summit is very important for the engagement of the civil societies, for the youths, for the individuals on different levels in Kuwait. We do believe that the national vision of Kuwait will not be realized or articulated unless we have this momentous engagement of all partners of development. Partners of development are the public sector, the private sector, the international organization, and the civil society. Our support to the civil society uh, will never stop. Our support to the youth is being committed by the government uh, for one important strategic purpose, which is the development of Kuwait and the sustainability of the country. From the other angle is the alignment of the pillars of the National Vision 2035 with the SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goal, the 17 goals committed by all nations and the United Nations on September 2015. Uh, we are committed and we would like to get the nation, uh, the, all the civil society, the individual, also to commit and the pledge for their implementation. Uh, today is, uh, is the World Volunteers Day and the United Nations, uh, according to the General Assembly Resolution, uh, has designated the 5th of December for the celebration of the World's Volunteers Day. And from this respect, we, uh, from this entry point, we are trying to uh, raise the awareness among uh, youth and uh, young people and from the schools, from the universities, uh, to promote volunteerism. And Kuwait is a country where uh, volunteerism is in the DNA of the people. And they have been uh, volunteering uh, worldwide to support people in humanitarian crisis situations, in development situations. Uh, there is uh, many of the young uh, Kuwaitis uh, engaged into also development activities uh, within the Kuwait Fund uh, activities in different countries. Also within Kuwait, uh, Kuwaitis are uh, working in innovating for their communities and developing solutions to uh, solve problems that the communities in Kuwait are, are facing, like in uh, support of the Sustainable Development Goals. The summit had a strategic partnership with the Ministry of State for Youth Affairs and the Ministry of Information, CAFU, the Supreme Council for Planning and Development, as well as the UNDP in Kuwait, which are all coordinating together to reach the objective of actually making the development plan come into reality in the near future. Today we're gathered here in Jabir al Ahmed Cultural Center attending the Atahab Summit. The side of the reporting to you for quite in 30 minutes.
And up next, organized by the Ethiopian Embassy in Kuwait and the National Council for Cultural Arts and Letters, NCCAL, the Ethiopian Cultural Week recently kicked off in the Modern Museum of Art with the attendance of the Councillor of the Ethiopian Embassy, the Ethiopian Community, members of the Diplomatic Corps and employees of the National Council for Cultural Arts and Letters. The opening night of the Ethiopian Cultural Week witnessed an art exhibition, a musical performance and traditional handcrafts. Further spectacles were expected to take place across certain venues in Kuwait, including a lecture, a screening of a documentary film and a musical performance. Reporter Renwa Jabouri has more in this report. The opening night of the Ethiopian Culture Week showcased an art exhibition, a fashion show and a musical performance, portraying the beautiful rich culture of Ethiopia through the medium of art in a most stylish, entertaining and colourful manner. Today uh, it's uh, Ethiopian Cultural Day Inauguration Day. Uh, uh, this program will be held for one week till Thursday. Every day there is a uh, different program. For today, there will be an exhibition of art, uh, fashion show, and uh, music also, musical instruments. There is, on the other side, there is a coffee ceremony also. There is a lot to see. And the next day, there will be a lecture about the relation between the um, Horn of Africa and uh, the Middle East. On the next day, we have a great music uh, uh, show, which will be showed at uh, Abdurrida Theater. On the next day, we have a solo music and uh, Ethiopian culture. Uh, uh, there will be a film. Uh, yeah, that's it. Guests who attended the opening night of the Ethiopian Culture Week were pleasantly surprised with the Ethiopian spectacle. Many noting that they felt the evening successfully depicted the authenticity of the Ethiopian culture. The purpose of uh, 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 displaying this cultural show is uh, mainly to show to the Kuwaiti people and uh, the residences here who, who is Ethiopia, because most of the people, they don't know who is Ethiopia, where it is located. Ethiopia is a land of origin, where every human being is originates from Ethiopia. That's as per the religion, every human being starts, not only, only the religion, but in uh, what you call uh, in research, it's identified that Ethiopia is, uh, has the longest uh, humankind, which uh, stands by its, its two feet first. <laughs> so we want to display, uh, we want to show to the creative people this one. The other is uh, Ethiopia is the origin of coffee. Coffee comes from Ethiopia originally. Co coffee is popular now in the world, but most of the people, they don't know where the coffee originates. Uh, this is one. The, the other thing, there is also, we have a long history. Ethiopia lived for more than 3,000. The Ethiopian Culture Week, which kicked off from the Modern Museum of Art, is expected to witness an array of spectacles that depict the colourful culture of Ethiopia in the next coming days. Some of the events that are expected to take place include a musical performance, a lecture and the screening of an Ethiopian film. The Ethiopian Culture Week is filled with vibrant colour and engaging cultural events that are sure to engage all members of society with its rich activities. From the Modern Museum of Art, I'm Geno Jaburi reporting to you for Kuwait in 30 minutes. The Youth Public Authority recently held a panel discussion titled Towards Professional and Sustainable Volunteer Work at the National Library of Kuwait. The event brought together concerned associations, including the Ministry of Youth, the Ministry of Social Affairs, the Red Crescent Society and the United Nations Development Programme, which is UNDP. The event aimed at creating a communicative bridge between volunteers and the organisations to further promote volunteer work between such organisations and volunteers. Reporter Ganwa Jabouri has more in this report. An event titled Towards Professional and Sustainable Volunteer Work 
which recently took place at the National Library of Kuwait, witnessed a number of speakers discuss issues pertaining to charity and volunteer work. The event generated fruitful discussions between the enthusiastic audience and the speakers. Um, so this was all organized by uh, multiple different relevant authorities uh, such as the Youth Public Authority, um, the Ministry of Youth and um, uh, uh, the Red uh, Crescent Society and uh, the United Nations. There are multiple different authorities and um, what we're trying to do today is um, to get the uh, create a bridge of communication between the volunteers and uh, the authorities that can uh, provide um, work for these volunteers um, so that they can get more involved into charity work. So this is the, uh, what we're trying to do as uh, the Youth Public Authority. Leila al Ajmi, who represents the Youth Public Authority, explained that the main objective of the event is to enhance and further the communication between charitable and non-profit organizations and individuals who are keen to participate in volunteer work. Um, uh, the Youth Public Authority is trying to create uh, more communication and they are tr trying to provide work for people who are willing to volunteer in uh, charitable events such as um, uh, LOYAC and uh, different uh, charitable events. At the same time we are trying to promote the Youth Council um, so that the people who are interested in having their voices heard um, can uh, come and uh, get an idea about what the Youth Council is about. Um, and that's pretty much it. The event further hosted an exhibition which was organised by several volunteer teams and the Youth Public Authority, such as Makarim, Muthmir, the Youth News Network and the Kuwaiti Youth Council, all showcasing their work objectives. Tonight's event highlights the importance of volunteer work. From the National Library of Kuwait, I'm Genra Jaburi reporting to you for Kuwait in 30 minutes. Well, this brings us to the conclusion of tonight's episode of Kuwait in 30 minutes. We hope to see you again same time next week. Our highly dedicated team of correspondents is constantly out in the field searching for reports that matter most to you. Thank you for joining us tonight and see you next week with more exclusive reports. Have a good night.